Hey Scribblers! Today I'm going to show you how I made a light box for free. Right, I was looking into buying a light box. So I looked online for light boxes in New Zealand. $190 for a A4 light box, which is a bit of plastic acrylic and LEDs I could not understand for the life of me. So I decided I would just make my own light box. Now, given it's not excellent, it's my first light box, but it works. Now, if you're like me and you're a little bit skint or a little bit skinny on it, or you're a student, like me as well. Um, there are ways to get what you need for relatively cheap or free. Main way being, make it yourself. Right, so I'm going to show you how this works and explain how I made it, basically. Now, what I've done is I have got a old cardboard broadband box, for example. I will show you. Hopefully my tinfoil won't flip out because that would suck. Right. It is just a box, as we can see here. Right. Now what I've done is I have made the box suit my needs and then I have just covered it in black insulation tape. I'll show you the roll of it here. See, it's holding my receipts for me. Okay. So... That's made it look a little bit smarter, and it's also held the glass in place. Right, so, first you get your box, and then you just cut a square frame out of it, as such, or just a square. Cut a square out of it, which leaves a like, little side frame, a little shelf for you to lay your glass on. So then, you find a similar size picture frame, and I would suggest you do this uh, before you start cutting the box and stuff, so get your box, get a piece of glass that will fit over the box kind of thing um, but not too far over the box and overhanging or anything like that because that's just going to get awkward and yeah so find a similar size box and frame um, with glass in it then take the glass out of the picture frame and uh, you just pop it over the top of the box get your tape of whatever whatever kind of uh, duct tape masking tape who knows I think uh, probably duct tape or insulation tape or something's better because you don't want to cut yourself on those little glass bits so anyway then you just tape it like that put the tape around right done but before that because I like explaining things backwards because I'm silly um I put a bit of tin foil in here to help reflect because I was not going to buy lights right I have already have marvelous little desk lamps like this so I will show you what I did with that. Anyway, um, so my light box is currently upside down anyway. Then what I did was, uh, well before putting the glass on obviously, because as I said I do everything backwards, I don't know if you can see, I'll check that, there we go. Right, here, I just cut a little hole, right, and the reason I cut a little hole, I will show you, I will stand up and make sure I'm getting this in, um, is it will come all the way over here yes it will right i will show you the desk lamp this is my desk lamp it is come on focus camera it doesn't want to focus at all what a piece of crap hello oh there we go right this is my desk lamp it is a 20 dollar led desk lamp oh and hi by the way as soon as you can see me um 20 dollar desk lamp from kmart um, I'm pretty sure Kmart is an Australian firm to start with anyway, so if you're an Aussie, easy to find. 20 buck LED lamp. Right, turn it on, bright as. Sweet. So, you know that hole I made? If it goes in here, I just make it rest by that little lip in here. Right, turn the bugger on, and look at that. That's handy dandy, but does it work, you say? Right. Here I have a hex grid just printed on a normal piece of printing paper. Here is another piece of general printer paper. Put that over the top. And this, I mean, it's light in here at the moment as well because 
what am I doing? I'm filming, so I've got all the daylight coming in. And you can clearly see what you're doing there. I mean, in some places you've got to press down and get your pencil out and go for it. Right? I've I've used this. I've, I've made myself little um, colour charts for my pencils and stuff. Kind of like that um, hex grid by that. What's her name? Is it Sally Olnock that did that hex grid for Copix? That really cool one. Anyway, who knows. Right? And uh, this here... Is a piece of watercolour paper so it's a hundred and eighty GSM I believe anyway you can actually see that for it not that you can oh look under my hand see look. now I get rid of that light you can see through the watercolour paper as well so it works really well so there you go guys that's how you can make yourself a light box for virtually free well I guess it's free Unless you're going to go out and buy a picture frame, but if you've already got one, use what you've got. Recycle, guys. All right, so that's that part of this done. Make yourself a light box, guys. Don't need another one. And the good thing is, your desk lamp becomes a desk lamp again when you're done. Isn't that wonderful? I think it's pretty marvellous. Now, uh, the bit I'm excited about, and why I'm a rushy little creature, I could have at least brushed my hair for you guys this morning, eh? See, I do have hair. I'm not really boyish. Um, I bought my second lot of Copics. Yeah. If I um could sing right now, I would. I probably can sing, but I won't. I haven't even had one coffee today. I'll just have a slurp on that. Be really weird to make swallowing noises right next to the mic. Mm, oh, and drip it everywhere too. Why not? Right, so as we can see, I bought some more Copics. These have come from Memory Crafts in Auckland again. Right, as you can see, I've got two little kits here. I bought these ones because they had multi liners in them. Um, I don't know if I really saved any money on the price of the markers, but I kind of like. Now that I've learnt a little bit about Copics, I would rather that I had learnt all about Copic Color Fairy. Color. Huh. All about Copic Colour Fairy before purchasing my first markers. Because if you go back to my video with my first markers in it, there isn't really any blending groups or anything. So go learn about blending groups. So um, I ended up getting these two particular sets because I did figure out which ones uh, were closer to achieving which little sets like these, you know, uh, 12 pen and under sets, were... Um, going to help me achieve more colour groupings with what I already had um, so I'm now building my set around what I do already have um, so these were the ones that filled more of the gaps for me so I bought these um, but they also filled the gaps because I didn't have any Copic multi-liners at all um, so I now have these ones um, and I also bought some extra bits and pieces to fill some more gaps um, anyway uh, so we'll get them out and I will also kind of show you, no, 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 I want to save that for another video. So I will show you how I keep my Copic markers um, stored so I can easily access them in that. But one thing I will show you is, this is my, obviously, markers I already own. Where is the lens here? These, I've put little labels on them. Real easy, just get stick a label sheet um, and just... Uh, Colour in a portion of the sticker, put put a multi liner of some sort on it with the um, with the colour that you've got there, and then yeah, you're good to go. Then you know what you've got, and it's just as useful as the sketch markers. Anyway, what colours did we get? Nice and quickly. Don't want a 20 minute video. I will always do my best to keep them under 15 minutes. Maybe I'll actually start editing them too, and then they won't be as long. Right, so we got yellow red 04. Red free seven, yellow one five. Oh, I'm getting better at remembering how to describe the color code better too. So that's another reason why you should go do your Copic Fairy. Um, e triple zero, B two nine. Um, I'm actually starting to get into some more earth tones now and um, trying to collect some 
skin tones. Um, I'll put a list of the skin tones I am uh, collecting, um, which is just based on another Copic set anyway. Um, and I think I found some extra ones that may be helpful as well. Anyway, I'll um, write them down the bottom or I'll just do another video, whichever way, just watch out for that. So we'll just put our multi-liners here. So that's all, all, obviously olive and wine. Um, and we've got in this nature doodle kit they came out of. I'm oh, sorry, let you actually focus, hopefully. Hopefully my video camera is not being silly on my cell phone. Uh, B95. G82. V12. E04. Blue Violet 1-3. And as you can see we're on a top. My art table actually consists of a trestle table. It is a cheap trestle table. My whole art desk is cheap, but it's modular. I will show you. Next video, I will show you how to have a really nice, organised art desk with virtually no money and just using what you have. Again, because I'm obviously the queen of this. Oops, I forgot the multi liners. What a dick. Right, anyway, black and cobalt. I think that's how you say it. Who knows? Kiwis don't care, let's say it however. Um, so, red 2-2, two, two, yellow red 0-2, oh blue 0-2, oh and G 0-2, oh and yellow 0-0. Zero, zero. Now, next time I do a video uh, where I've got Copics, I will make sure it is after I have shown you how my desk is set up. Um, because I am broke as... Because I spend all my money on markers. Ha. <laughs> Right, uh, so I will show you how to set up your desk easily so you can spend, uh, have organisation and spend more of your money on markers and art supplies instead of um, $3,000 art desks that keep you organised. Um, right, so anyway, definitely, definitely going to do another video. I've decided I enjoy it, so even though uh, if you're watching... Uh, currently as this video was actually put up I don't even have a subscriber and I don't care because it's fun anyway um, yeah so these are my new Copics mm, go make yourself a light box it's really simple easy peasy um, and it's good for the creativity you know you've got to get your creative juices flowing if you want to do art um, so that's one thing I've been learning and yeah oh other thing too is um, I did decide to go to their art school and I I've been doing art school and I am really enjoying it and this particular I don't know if art school is a waste of time anywhere else in the world but this one actually focuses on creativity as well so you're not so much judged for your ability to create a nice piece of artwork that everybody else likes it's more about whether you are um, able to participate in a creative process um, and building your creativity in yourself whilst the other half, you know, portion of the course is more focused on um, what kind of art you're producing. But yeah, so really, really, really awesome skill. I'm not going to specifically mention their name. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. But anyway, yeah, definitely think about going to art school, even if you're 30 like me. And anyway, uh, nice to see you guys. If you enjoyed this, um, Give me a like or something. If not, don't bother doing anything. But you can actually um, dislike my video if you like. I don't care either way. That would make me quite happy. It brings a little bit of, you know, in the world of YouTube, a like is just as good as a dislike. So it all counts the same. So whatever. And, um, yeah, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. I'm going to be doing um, at least one video a week. Um, probably more because I'm kind of ADD and obsessed with markers and art stuff and all sorts of stuff so yeah anyway keeping under 15 minutes we're at 14.32 even without editing so uh it was nice to talk a bunch of crap to you guys okay see you guys bye